I thought I'd start off today's session with a history lesson. In August of 1978, Mr. R. Stockdale published a paper titled The Vertical Alignment Design of Roundabouts, after which his method of vertical alignment roundabout design has become widely used. We use this method inside Civil Designer. It was first introduced in the 2015 version, and we've had numerous requests to show it in our webinar series. That's the objective today to give you more information on the functionality. The roundabout function can have three or more incoming roads. The roundabout can be non-circular and it's non-restrictive. You can use line arc lines, polylines, splines, which you convert into polylines, or CAD arcs. And then you leave this project open and go to the beginning of the design. I'm going to show you how you can take your four road designs, drape your CAD work on top of it in order to design the roundabout. Before we get started, let's take a look at these four roads. I'm going to turn off the CAD layers. With this roundabout design, as I mentioned before, you don't have to have four roads, you can have three or more. My north and south road, these are actually dual carriageway templates that we've used. So with the north road active, I'm going to go to Tools, Template Paths. You'll see I've named it dual to single. So I've taken a dual carriageway road, gone to the carriageway setup. I've gone and made the pivot to centerline and the pivot to median zero. And then I've also checked in my edge levels that the spreadsheet is correct. that is applicable to the north and the south road. Something else I need to mention is when you do your roundabout design, you use your pivot points and not your median breakpoints. For those of you who aren't familiar with the, the pivot points, I'm just gonna go and turn on a CAD layer for my pivot points. We use these pivot points because the cross-sectional grade changes on these pivot points. The approach left and right pivot strings are adjusted and heighted to follow the crown lines. Which crown lines, you may be asking? I'll explain that shortly. 